Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a weekly spread as well as a doodle tutorial related to my March theme. If you have not seen my March plan with me, stop this video right now, go and check it out. It is my most recent video and then you can come back to this one. So for today, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of how I tackle my vine and flowers theme as well as other various ways you can tackle it yourself. So. First of all, the weekly spread that I'm doing, very simple boxes uh, kind of surrounded in the basic vines that I draw with some bubble numbers and a very simple font for the days of the week. Nothing complicated. I also added a few hanging vines on the corners and I think it just really ties everything in together and I think it's very cute. Uh, so basically for the vines, very simple, just a swiggly line with some little leaves on it. And guys, just remember that you can always look up some references later on. References are super, super helpful. Uh, I, there are so many, so, so, so many plants out there that are like vine shaped and whatever. Just like search up hanging plants and I'm sure you'll find plenty. So basically how I tackle drawing the vines. The very first one is the most simple and also the fastest one, which is the one that I do. Basically, like I said before, you start off with a wavy line and you just draw some little rounded triangles, I guess you could describe the leaves that. It's very, very simple, uh, asymmetrical, so once every second centimeter or so. Uh, pretty simple, straight to the point, looks like a vine. Number two little bit cuter you can do little circle leaves which i think is very adorable which could also look like fairy lights or berries you choose or again little simple leaves very cute very delicate i love it the third one probably one of my favorites which i probably should have done little heart shaped leaves which is based off the plant called string of hearts very cute love it <laughs> Very simple to do too, and I'm sure you guys can do it, and I hope this gives you inspiration for your next month's theme if you need it. Just remember that changing the alignment of the leaves can also give a whole different effect. So basically either having it asymmetrical, which is the way I do it, or completely symmetrical as well can change the whole vibe of everything. So I think that having it symmetrical makes it very cutesy, and honestly, I kind of love it but I decided to go with the asymmetrical theme for March. And then finally, for the fourth type of vine that I'm showing you guys today, uh, it's kind of based off more of a grapevine. So if ever you've seen a grapevine in person, there's actually these little other like twirly, tiny pieces of vine kind of coming off of it. Don't really know how to explain it. You can look up a reference, but uh, it basically makes the vine look a little bit more full and detailed. Next is the second part, which is the flowers. The very first one I'm showing you is the one that I'm doing. Again, simple and fastest one because I am uh, one of the lazy people. <laughs> second one is a little bit more detailed with the petals. Um, it's more of like a fancy flower versus the first one, which is more like a daisy inspired one. And then the third one is more of a rose-like shape so basically you kind of do like a circle in the middle and do like half circles all around it to stimulate like the petals i guess of the rose and then finally for the fourth one is something a little bit more abstract but also very cute inspired by that uh, beautiful golden paper that i have there in the back with the golden flowers and yeah and then another little bonus is that instead of putting flowers on the vine, you guys can put berries. So like I mentioned before, with the little grape vines, you can add little stems of grapes, or if you want to do like more of like a shrub-like thing, you could do blueberries or raspberries or blackberries or the apparently um, mystical blue raspberry. <laughs> And yeah, I think berries is an adorable idea and I think I might do that for June or something and kind of do like a wine theme or Italy theme and I think it'd be adorable. And voila, this is the basics of my March theme. I really hope that that helped you guys out kind of with the basics of the theme and helps you kind of get started. And here we are back to the weekly spread. So I finished outlining everything. 
I did the bubble numbers as well as the vines and the little flowers and little extras kind of everywhere. And then I went in with a super simple but capitalized font for the days of the week. Um, kind of reminds you of like a large typewriter font and I think it's very cute, very simple and it's straight to the point. And then I erased all the graphite so that it wouldn't stay under the marker when I color everything with, again, my favorite tool ever, my kneaded eraser, which you totally need to get one if you don't have one because it works amazingly. And then I went in with my Crayola Super Tips. Honestly, I think that it looks amazing in the end, but this part was actually really tedious because there were so many little tiny leaves. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> probably not going to put as many leaves in the future and I will definitely be keeping that in mind unless I have a lot of time on my hands. And then this was not planned but the vines kind of look like they're all connected in a way and I think that's actually super cute. So yeah I just colored all the leaves like super roughly like I didn't follow all the lines perfectly I just kind of did like a smudge of color and went on with it and I kind of like the very messy look because it just makes it look more like real plants but along with a very like painterly style. And then I also went in with my yellow one and put in the little dots of color in the middle of the flowers. And I also added a little bit of color to the numbers of the dates. I don't really know what my shading technique was for the numbers, but I just put a line of color on the right hand side of everything, if that indicates anything. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, I think it looks really cute and it brings a little bit of touch of yellow instead of like coloring in uh, all the numbers and yeah. I also added a line of yellow underneath every single one of the days of the week just to make them pop out a little bit more, make them a little bit more evident instead of like blending in with the crazy tangle of vines that we have and I think it definitely helped. And finally, we are adding the washi tape. I didn't really think of the washi tape when I first planned out for this spread, but I think it turned out pretty cute regardless. I just added a little bit of washi tape on the bottom right hand corner as well as the top left. And I think it just adds a little bit of touch of that light green that we needed. And I think it looks really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped guide you a little bit for your inspiration for whatever theme you're doing. And maybe you include these vines in your own theme. And I would love to see. And if you just simply relaxed by watching this video, then that made me super happy as well. And I hope to see all of you next week as well. Bye guys! Bye.